I don't think it's meant to be. I keep getting text messages and these videos keep getting cut off. So I'm going to make it short. I'll add the video as a different video in the series. But this is me talking with no teeth. I keep trying to include the post, but um, I keep getting cut off by text. So anyway, just had a surgery yesterday. Very, very swollen. And um, going in today between 11 and 2 to get my teeth. I can feel the bar, both bars that they put in there, the titanium bars, and all the sutures. They're dissolvable sutures. And I've been wearing a mask from the clinic to here, but I really don't care. I'm so excited that they did the surgery for me. And, uh, like I said, I haven't said where the center is still, so I'm going to wait till I get my teeth and see how that goes. And I think I'm going to be putting all these videos up, but I haven't decided completely, so I want to, to help anybody out there who has extreme sensitivity like I did. And we're not talking, like, kind of, sort of sensitive. I'm talking air would set them off. Oh my teeth, I was eating on one gap. I had a tooth pulled in 2017, it's 2019. When I had it pulled and it healed, that was where I would eat, between my tongue and my roof of my mouth, and then that one spot back there. Sometimes I'd risk it if I wanted to have pistachios and just try and eat in other places, but then it would all get stuck in my holes and my teeth, and anyway. I had made a commitment not to go back to the dentist in 2017 because it was like going to a torture chamber. What's the best angle? <laughs> None. <laughs> Pretty bad. But anyway, I just wanted people to be able to see and get a real idea of what it's like the next day. Yesterday um, was a long day. It was like from 7 a.m. until 2. I was in a dental chair, and then we didn't leave there till like 5 or 6 at night, or maybe later, because they did all this um, lab work, so I was getting an impression on my gums. I just let the anesthesia wear off, and I got all my directions, and came home, and um, been rinsing with salt water, taking anti-inflammatory, 800 Advil kind of thing, ibuprofen, and Vicodin, and finishing the prescription uh, they had given me for that other anti-inflammatory. A lot of pain at 3 in the morning when I woke up to take my dose of medicine, so I had a lot of, a lot of pain. And they did say the shots, places where you get shots are like very, very painful. I have big cheeks normally, so this is kind of funny. Uh, there's nothing in my mouth. I don't have any gauze. Yesterday I had gauze soaking up all the blood and stuff, which I think are, it might be in a video from yesterday. I was very out of it and I made videos. Bloody gory videos for those who want to see. So, I don't know if I'll put those up either, but... Uh, yeah, my jaw is still sore from the surgery keeping it open. Conscious sedation with a trip. Gentle entry. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't like anxious or anything. I just went in and sat down with their anesthesiologist who was a really nice anesthesiologist. Finished talking with her and put got the oxygen in my nose and um, it was a trip. Because I kind of remember some parts of it, but I really don't remember any of it. I mean, that's a long time to not remember what happened. But I guess uh, they told me a couple things about it, but I don't really need to know. I don't want to know. Just know they're out, they're gone. And, uh, yeah, basically when I got... To the clinic I had talks with 
their surgeons and they were advising me not to have the surgery like all the dentists I've ever gone to. Talked about crowning on my teeth, talked about um, bonding on my teeth, you know, all these special toothpaste. And I have said in other videos, that's the story of my life. People have told me all that stuff and it doesn't work. And it literally is like going to a torture chamber when I go to the dentist or endodontist. They saw in the x-rays how much work I had done, which I'll post a picture of that. But like almost all my teeth have had something done, whether it's root canals, cavities, extraction, cracked teeth, and um, fillings. And the ones that didn't had extreme sensitivity and receding gums. So I kept saying my parents are in their 80s. I can see what's down the road. They have parcels. They have receding, extreme receding gums. They've had grass taken off the roof of their mouth to cover their receding gums. It's just been painful. So runs in my family. Extreme sensitive teeth, soft teeth. I just burst into tears and said, I give up. I've been told no before. It's nothing new to me. Only I flew a long distance this time. But now it looks like I'm going to have to go to India or Nepal or, I mean, not, not Nepal, Thailand, Canada, or Mexico to have my dentist redone. I said, it's six months to a year, but it looks like this. I had to come here and find out you were going to say no so I could go. And I just burst into tears, but I'm like, I accept it. So then they called the founder of the this clinic and this procedure and had multiple calls with him and then he finally came in to speak with me personally and I had brought him Kona coffee and I had brought the staff um, honey from my beehive the mystic bee sanctuary with my little bees imagine my little antennas all my sweet bees had made honey so I brought a big jar of that for all the staff and I gave him the coffee I said you know what it's okay if it doesn't happen it's okay, you know, I've been told no. Or no, I gave him the copy after that conversation, but he finally said, you know, I get it. You're, I get it, I see it in your face, and I hear it in your voice how frustrated you are. And I said, I'm just at the end of my rope. It's like, it'd be easier if I was in a car accident and all my teeth were broken, then you'd be okay with giving me new teeth. Or if my husband took a hammer to my mouth. So he's a carpenter. We've discussed jokingly, like, you should just take a hammer to my teeth. Then I wouldn't have any excuse. And they wouldn't have any excuse. They'd say, oh my God, you need teeth. They'd feel sorry for me. They'd have empathy for me. But because I don't, and I had really great looking teeth, I had really great looking teeth yesterday. I'm this happy camper to get rid of my beautiful teeth because they were so painful every day. I told him I wake up in the morning and I can't brush my teeth without finding the perfect temperature water. It can't be hot, can't be cold. It has to be like lukewarm. Even then, when I gargle the toothpaste out, it just sets everything off. I said everything I eat all day, everything I drink all day, I have to make decisions. If I go out, I have to make decisions hard to eat in front of people because I feel like I look weird because I'm trying to eat on the gap or my tongue and my roof of my mouth. And I said when I go to people's homes or my family has me over for dinner, they all remember that I have sensitive teeth. They're like offering me straws, drink anything. They know I love lemonade, limeade, acidic, can't have it. Um, my friend, she just made me a meal and she said to thank me for helping her and she said oh I just wanted to think of something that you could eat with your teeth I thought there you have it again like they affect my life so is this just to people who have that problem like extreme sensitivity not just every now and then but like all the time all over your mouth and uh it's horrible and I said to the doctors I know I'm not unique I know there's other people out there that have the same problem and it's like a burden and a weight every day <laughs> it's horrible and then thinking i can't just go to the dentist like i keep thinking i'm gonna have a heart infection
because I'm not taking care of my teeth and like my eyes get puffy like I kept feeling like my eyes are really puffy right now I kept feeling like the infection was going up into my eyes and um, it'd be throbbing living on Advil and antibiotics and uh, I know I'm not alone I know there's other people out there so I think it's kind of poignant to make the video when I have no teeth because it was extreme I told him I know it's extreme people think it's an extreme solution, but I said they don't understand the extreme burden and pain. And I said my quality of life, I can't even eat the foods I like. And it's draining every day. It's a weight on me. And I said, you know, I'm turning 50 and I'm so tired. It's my body. And I feel like because it's my body, I should be able to make a decision about it if I don't want my teeth. And I said, I get it. You're looking at my teeth. Like right now... I have no pain. I'm inhaling air and I have no pain. Like before, I, when I inhale, all my teeth go off. I have no teeth, so it's actually better. And I told him, you know what? If the posts and the hybrid dentures don't work, I'll go get dentures because I know dentures aren't going to hurt me. And I'll get really nice looking dentures. I said, I'm giving you a hell of a lot of money. Obviously, I have thought a lot about this since 2011. When I heard about hybrid dentures, I've been researching it. And they knew. They said, we hear that you've researched it. And they know if I was willing to get a loan and willing to take all my teeth out, it must be pretty bad. I said, yeah. And I'll go beyond you. I'll keep looking for the answer. Because I said, I literally said, it's like faith and fear. I know God loves me. God doesn't want me to be in that pain. I'm a child of God, just like everybody. So... I have a lot of faith, and if it isn't right, then it's a step towards what is right. And I said, I let go, and I was crying, but I was like, I get it. I'm used to being told no, so you're just another person telling me no. So he said, all right, if you sign waivers and you sign all these releases, including that you'll get dentures if this doesn't work, then we'll move ahead. And I was like, oh. Seriously, I was so happy. I was screaming. I had my arms up there. I was like, yes! <laughs> I said, are you lying? Are you serious? Please don't pull that back. Don't pull your promise away. I'm going to wait. I'm going to worry all night that you're going to change your mind. Because it was 7 a.m. Surgery. I had to be there at like 6.45. I said, all night, I'm, I'm not going to believe it until it's really happening. Because I've been told no. And he said, yes. He said, I will do it. Then I was jumping around. And I met with a guy who was going to make my teeth. Like, he, it was late at night. And I'd been there since 3. It was so late. I had spent about an hour by myself looking out into... The, I mean, they have a beautiful office. Floor to ceiling windows. I'm looking out at the city in the dark. Talking to God for an hour. Crying. Like, okay, I get it. You don't... This isn't my... This isn't the last stop. Crying. So then when it was so late, I finally went in to meet with the guy who was going to make my teeth. And I was like, I don't even care what they look like. As long as they don't hurt at this point, I could care less. <laughs> He's like, well, you have great looking teeth. I said, I gave him a mold of my teeth that had been taken back in 2005. And he said, you know what? Eventually he was like, I guess I could just use this instead of putting all that goo in your mouth tonight. It's late. So he didn't make a mold of my teeth. They're using the one that I had as a reference. All the 3D scanning and CAT scans and everything they're going to use to make the teeth. However they do that. And I said, whatever shade you think is best, give me that shade. I'm dark skinned. I have dark gums. Like pink and brown gums like a dark skinned person. So go middle of the road. And the founder came in and he added his two cents on the color of the teeth and the shape and I said it really could just make my teeth that I had in my head and I'd be fine. Just give me my same teeth. I don't want perfect teeth. I don't want them to be square and sharp edges and stuff. I just and I don't want them really big. I said I just want the ones that are kind of like mine. Same would be great. And pick a good color. I don't need bright white. I don't I have dark skin so my teeth already look bright. I was going to open my mouth and show you my teeth, but I don't have any teeth. 
but I said, um, you pick the color. So between them, they're picking the color, and I picked rounded um, teeth that were similar to my size, and he said he might make them a little bigger. He said, I'm just going to make you a really beautiful set of teeth. And he said, you're not going to leave here if you're not happy. And if, you know, for some reason, something about him is bugging you, we'll fix it before you leave. And I don't leave till tomorrow. So my teeth is coming in today. Between 11 and 2, I go get my teeth. And we don't leave till tomorrow. And they said, spend the night. And tomorrow, if something happens, it's a Saturday. They said, give us a call. You can come in and we'll have someone on call come in and tweak your teeth. So I can't say anything bad about the place. The only thing I'd say is the very end, I didn't want this shot, like extra shots, because I knew that's where the pain was going to be from people who have shared in the past. So thank you everybody for sharing all your stories. But that's true. All the shot areas are like so sore. And he was kind of a quicker, quicker doctor and, um, kind of went for it and it kind of bugged me. I just wanted ice and meds, but maybe they couldn't give me meds at that exact moment. And so that's why he overrode me and just did the shots, but cause they couldn't get the wax, um, molds in cause the metal that attaches to the post was digging into my gum. I could feel that like real bad and so they kept giving me shots and then this one tooth that had been giving me trouble for so long that had two root canals on it was still hurting and so he just um, gave me shots. There's, there's strings all over my mouth. There's all these stitches, sutures that are dissolving, you know, self-dissolving but I can just feel all these strings. That's pretty gross. On the roof of my mouth and on the under part and outside and they're everywhere so i got all my teeth removed which is all the teeth we have in our head so i don't know i think it's 23 because i had that one pulled so i think we have 24 but i don't know i have to look it up google that <laughs> so anyway my heart goes out to anybody with the kind of problems i had and when i have the reveal of my teeth i'll let you know where i got them done once all is said and done and everything is good, I'll decide because I just have this heart feeling I don't want to say anything until I feel good about everything because it was very big, drastic, and emotional. I'm trying to take good care of myself and be very loving to myself and not do even more things that make me feel vulnerable because it's a very vulnerable thing to do. Super scary. And at the same time, I'm telling you my excitement and um, gratitude are bigger. So, thanks for following me along. This will all be posted, if all goes well, after the whole journey is over. So, alright. From Mississippi Sanctuary and Salvi. May you thrive in your hive. Peace be with you. Peace. Aloha.